so adding adding electronics onto an acoustic kit isn't too hard. The most expensive part is the module. Um, I'm using silent stroke heads, so I took the original heads off, put these silent stroke ones on, which is just like a mesh head, and then I made homemade triggers, which is just the piezo, which you find in the trigger, and the snare one's on top, but all the others are actually within the shells. Um, the hardest part was actually doing something with the cymbals, so originally I stuck piezos onto my cymbals with glue, and then tape, and then whatever else I could find to keep them on because they keep falling off and I put on uh, elastic around the outside of the cymbals so when you hit them they were dead so they weren't loud because I'm in a cul-de-sac with a lot of elderly neighbours so I, my acoustic kit didn't last very long as far as being playable um, and it's only recently last year I upgraded to the rubber cymbals which is definitely a lot better than homemade cymbals um, but now it's all dialed in it's taken a while because when you do things on the cheap and homemade there's compromises um, so the triggers on all the drums it took quite a while to get that sorted to a system that works and works well and um, yes I've been very pleased with it it's it's cheap if you know where to look so the uh, the module I'm running an Alesis and a Roland two two modules so I can get as many components that I have and um, they were the most expensive part. Yeah, well, I can dial in different kits as well. So um, if I go over here, so um, over over there, if you oh, now it's there. That's that's the laptop that controls the Stephen Slate drum software. Um, that gives the drums all the sounds. Um, so I, you can do something like this. So uh, um, there's a country kit as well. I hope they sound different to you guys. It's a country one. There's so many of them. This one's called Chill. Uh, which one was that? That was obviously not the 80s one. That was that, that's the, the country one. I like that country one. Um, this one is classic metal. Uh, which I don't like. Some of them don't sound that good. This is cracky metal. And so forth. So I'll go back to the country one because I do like that one. The, um, was that the same one? Yeah, it was. I'm thinking of making one with different sounds, so like fart sounds or cat sounds or dog sounds or what have you. I don't know, just, just to play around on the stream, I think. Um, I like this one. I think this is this one. Jazzy Jerry. The toms, well, some of them, the toms are quite loud. You've got to adjust them, but... problem is with Twitch, it, it compresses the sound so much that what I'm hearing is a little bit different to what you guys are hearing. Um, I'm hearing all the decay and uh, the echo and, and so forth. This is one called ZP. I'm assuming it's Lead Zeppelin. So yeah, all sorts. And that's the thing about electric kits, is you can change them and make them what you want. There is some some trade-offs. Um, on some of them you can play quietly and, and bring the sounds up. So uh, there is this velocity there. See, at the moment it's 9.23pm. If I was on my acoustic kit, I couldn't do this. I would have everyone at my door yelling and screaming to, for me to stop. So... Um, Right, let's uh let's have a look at this other song. Mm -hmm. 